Okay. Uh, it's good to see you here, Dr. Zakir. Uh, my name is Derek, and uh, my profession is actually a tunnel engineer. I'm sorry, Dr. Zakir, my question will be slightly not relevant to terrorism, but I just want to ask you a very brief question. According to um, Surah 43 Al Zukruv, it says here, uh, Surah 43 61, it says, Jesus shall be the sign for the coming of the hour. Does that mean Jesus will come as the final prophet? Or is Muhammad or Prophet Muhammad the final prophet? So if Prophet Muhammad is going to come as the last prophet, so who exactly is Isa al Masih or Jesus Christ? Thank you. Brother Dr. a very good question. And you quote a verse of the Quran saying that Isa alayhi salam, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will be the sign of the hour. So does it mean Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is the last prophet? Or Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last prophet? What is it? Quran clearly mentions in Surah Azab, chapter number 33, verse number 40, Ma kana Muhammadun aba ahadim mirjalikum, walaki Rasulullah, wa khatimun nabin, wa kana Allah bi kulli shayin alimah. That means Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Muhammad is not the father of any of you men. But he is the messenger of Allah. And he is the seal of the Prophet. Allah is all-knowing, full of knowledge. So Quran is very explicit and clear in Surah Azab, chapter 33, verse number 40, that Prophet Muhammad is the last and final messenger. After him, no messenger comes. But you rightly said the Quran also says that Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, is the sign for the hour. Quran says that and even Bible says that. Bible says in the Gospel of John that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will come in the second coming. Even Quran says he'll come again. Why? Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is the only messenger amongst all the messengers of Almighty God whose followers mistook that he claimed divinity. You're a Christian, brother? Yes, I am. Do you consider Jesus to be God? Yes, he has the divinity. That's what I told you. Jesus Christ is the only messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whose followers mistook him to be God. I will come to your Jesus as God later on, peace be upon him. First, I'll give the reply to your question. Because the followers of the messenger, Jesus, peace be upon him, mistook him to be God, that's the reason Allah says in the Quran in Surah Nisa, chapter 4, 158, Allah raised him up alive. Allah raised him up alive because he was the only messenger whose followers mistook him to be God. In his second coming, he will not bring any new rule. He will come as Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because Allah says in the Quran in Surah Maida chapter 5 verse number 3, On this day have I completed my favor on you and have chosen for you Islam. Once the religion is complete, nothing new can be added or taken out. But Isa alayhi salam in his second coming will come to testify he never claimed divinity. Quran says in Surah Maida chapter 5 verse 116 that Oh Allah, you be my witness. I never told them to worship me, but I worship Allah, Abdullah, who is my Lord and your Lord. So in his second coming, he will come to clarify he never claimed divinity. And even in the Bible today, today if you read the Bible, Islam is the only non-Christian faith which makes it an article of faith to believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. No Muslim is a Muslim if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We believe that he was one of the mightiest messengers of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We believe that he was the Messiah, translated Christ. We believe that he was born miraculously without any male intervention, which many modern day Christians do not believe. We believe that he gave life to the dead with God's permission. We believe he healed those born blind and lepers with God's permission. The Christians and the Muslims are going together. But one may ask, where is the parting of ways? The parting of ways is that majority of the Christians, they believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, claimed divinity. They believe that he was God. In fact, if you read the Bible, there is not a single unequivocal statement in the complete Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says, worship me. <laughs> if you can point out from any version of the Bible, where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says any unambiguous statement, any unequivocal statement in the Bible where Jesus Christ, peace be upon himself, says that I am God or where he says worship me, 
I, Dr. Zakir Naik, am ready to accept Christianity today. I am not speaking on behalf of my other Muslim brothers and sisters. I am a student of comparative religion. In fact, if you read the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, himself said, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 28. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said, my father is greater than I. Gospel of John, chapter number 10, verse number 29, my father is greater than all. Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 12, verse number 28, I cast out devil with the Spirit of God. Gospel of Luke, chapter number 11, verse number 20. I with the finger of God cast out devil. Gospel of John, chapter number 5, verse number 30. I can of my own self do nothing. As I hear, I judge. And my judgment is just. For I seek not my will, but the will of my Father. Anyone who says I seek not my will, but the will of Almighty God is a Muslim. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is a Muslim. He never claimed divinity. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse 24. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that the words that you hear are not mine, but my Father who has sent me. Mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 17, verse number 3, This is life eternal, so that you may know there is one God and Jesus Christ whom thou hast sent. It's mentioned in the book of Acts, chapter number 2, verse number 22. E men of Israel, listen to this. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him and you have witnessed to it. A man approved of God amongst you by wonders and miracles and signs, which God did by him and you have witnessed to it. So if you read the Bible, we understand that same thing what the Quran says. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, the messenger of God. He was not God. He never claimed divinity. So if you read the Bible, this is the teaching of the church. To understand Christianity, don't look at the Christians, read the Bible. To understand Islam, don't look at the Muslims, read the Quran and the authentic Hadith. That's the reason Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, Almighty God raised him up alive. So that he will tell people like you and people who claim he was God. He will come in his second coming to clarify his name. He will be the Ummatit of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He will believe in the same teachings of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he will testify. He never claimed divinity but said, Oh Abdullah, worship Allah, my Lord and your Lord. Hope that answers the question. How Islam define love and what is love? 